I can still see my brow. <laughs> Okay, let's try out some new products, but first let's get these edges together. And you've asked me in the past to show you how I do this. So let's do this really fast. This is the Color Wild product that I always use. The shade is black and here's a brush that comes with it. And I just keep dab, dab, dabbing and wipe, wipe, wiping. It's important to get this to look as realistic as possible, but yo man, name someone that does not have issues with, issues with their edges. And if you don't, I don't wanna hear it. I'm just kidding. Brag about yourself, girl, brag about yourself. I know I have an edge issue. I think it's hormonal, who knows? It could be stress too, but this is what I do, okay? And I fill it in until I'm satisfied. In case you're wondering, here's the top. It's a cute little pick the top. I'll link it below as well as all the products that I use in today's video. So we're gonna try some new things out. Hopefully this comes out good. Let's get into it. Now I still always begin with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip because I just have to prime my lips. I cannot just do a gloss or any kind of random chapstick. I just can't. What do you normally do? Because I have to still do this. As a former MAC girl, some things just don't go away. It Cosmetics sent me there. Your Skin But Better CC Natural Matte Full Coverage Cream and Skin Balancing Serum with SPF 40. Wow, okay. I know that I've tried a skin product from A Cosmetics a while ago. I did a brand deal with them, I took like two years ago, a year ago. I don't believe that it was matte though. So let's try this. I've got Deep Bronze, Deep Honey, and Neutral Deep. This is the shade Deep Bronze, which looks like it'll match me perfectly, actually. Do we even need to go any further? That'll match me so perfectly toward the perimeter of my face. It's not gonna match the outer edge. It's gonna be a natural look, which you know I like to go darker, but let's just do it because there's a time and a place for an exact match and there's a time and a place for a deeper color match because like what? That's what I prefer to do, you know? Because after I have that in contour, it just all comes together. You know how it goes. So that again is deep bronze. And I can just tell just from the actual bottle. Just for you, this is, yeah, <laughs> that's deep honey. And this is neutral deep. Yeah, both light. So deep bronze is a third to darkest shade. There are two shades after this. There's deep mocha and then there is deep cool. This is good. This is a full coverage product. It has hyaluronic acid. It's gonna give a full coverage matte finish. Okay, so that just actually made me happy that it's full coverage because hello, I like full coverage, hi. Let's get my handsy dandy Morphe brush that I enjoy using. Let's blend this part out. You know what? I'm not even gonna bring this toward my perimeter too much because the color, like I said, matches the middle of my face just perfectly. And you, you're gonna have shades like that. This is nice and thick, I gotta say, wow. Oh crap, okay, now I'm pissed. Oh. No, uh, no, okay, no. I love the bronzeness of it. Oh no, see, this is why I don't be doing shades like this. I feel like I gotta use deep mocha. I feel like I gotta use deep mocha. Oh crap. <laughs> It's orange. You see, when you just swatch, it don't be giving you the full picture. My voice double going down. <sighs> it don't be giving you the full picture. Wow. Okay. And do and key. So this is a lesson we are teaching. We cooking. Is that what the kids say these days? We, we let's cook, okay? We are getting off the excess product to blend into the edges of our face so that it's not too harsh, okay? We are gonna contour. We're gonna make things work, okay? We're gonna make this work. <laughs> Cause here we are and I ain't got time to take this off. What in the world? Take off the excess because we just want to blend harsh lines, okay? So this is for all of you who be feeling like the, the shades that I use are too dark. You see, this is part of the problem. Love the coverage. I could have done more over my brows, but because this is not my shade, that I like, I'm just not even gonna bother myself with that, but love the coverage, okay? The concealer that I use is gonna look crazy because this is already so light. So I have to go really light with this concealer because this shade is just so what? So this is the Elf Cosmetics, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is the Deep Chestnut, okay? Long gone are the days where I would go in with just this. Because this is so light, I need something that is wicked light to match it, otherwise the Concealer's just not gonna show, all right? And I took a little bit because we don't need this to be too crazy already. This whole thing looks like what? <laughs> but we do want a highlight, I need some more. I had this stubborn dark spot right here that keeps on getting wiped off when I put product there. Yo, we ain't got nothing to look at in the back, you feel me? And we ain't got the correct foundation shade on today. What one? Popcorn. Back of the beauty sponge, we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Pounce, 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 pounce. Because we wanna blend this in, okay? It's all gonna come together when we contour. We're building, we're in the kitchen cooking, pouncing, and I'm moving quickly because I know that this is a matte concealer. This is not the hydrating one. So I don't know how much time I have to blend. It's been a long time since I've used this as my only concealer. I normally use this shade to highlight. The contour is gonna really save the day because I uh, this is very light. <laughs> and orange, the bronze is very orange. <laughs> Oompa Loompa.
dupa dupa de do. I was gonna try a bunch of new products, but I'm really feeling like I have to go back to what I know because this looks like such a disaster. Here's the thing. This is going to look really dark. Okay, I gotta go easy with this. This is the LYS Sick Bronzer. See, it is so dark compared to my face. Depending on the shade, the undertone, the look of your foundation, your other products that you're used to using are gonna look different. So I wanna go easy with this, taking this Rienza brush. It looks just like the Real Techniques one. Taking the product in the back of my hand and let's, oh, okay, that, was, that wasn't too much. And then let's blend it in, starting here. I started in the middle of the cheek area, coming forward a bit, blending it up. And I'm just, I'm moving quickly because I don't want this to settle anywhere where I don't really want it. You feel what I'm saying? We do have to go into the hairline to make this look more seamless, especially at the hairline. Yes, I filled in my hairline and this needs to go into, dang, it's looking very harsh. <laughs> It's just so much darker than my foundation. We're gonna make this work. Okay, I like to teach you how to make stuff work because you're not gonna have everything that I have. And to be fair, you're gonna have to make things work sometimes. So that's what we're doing in this video. I'm taking some more of the product. We're gonna do our best to figure this out right now. And I see the comments about wanting longer videos. I'll do my best to give you all some longer videos. Okay, so here we are. We place this thing and thing and thing and it's looking messy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to fix that. Don't worry. We want it to be diffused. We want the contour to be there, but I don't need it to just be looking like a big old line. You feel me? It just needs to blend. So little by little, we're taking this product and blending it into the hairline while bringing it up toward the forehead, okay? Let's switch hands to my left. I'm not a lefty, but I need to use it to get this part well. It feels so odd doing it, but we gotta do that, okay? I have a meeting after this. It's a virtual meeting, so it's all good. I have therapy and then I have a meeting. So do meetings, I mean, therapy is a meeting. By the way, I'm still doing therapy, love it. I just, I need it, like what? And I like talking to an unbiased person. I don't want to always talk to someone that I know about things. I need an unbiased view of Wagwan, okay? Is it looking better? Comment and let me know, okay? And comment and let me know if you have ever been in this position where you bought a foundation and whoa, it was too light and then you had to make it work. Cause this, I know this stuff happens. There's no way that I can't, ex I, I don't even expect you to be able to pick your foundation shade out perfectly. And sometimes, quiet as it's cap, you go to the store and you get a, an associate to help you and they be giving you the wrong damn shade. <laughs> like what? Excuse me, that, no, that doesn't match me, you know? Okay, here we are. We're gonna use the powder for my chin area. I don't like to use the cream down there. I don't like for there to be too much product down there. Now this side, again, I don't want it to be too harsh, but it was looking a little wild. So let's clean that up a little bit. Back of the sponge to the fuse. This is more so cold right now. I wouldn't call it wet, okay? So when your sponge is damp, you really shouldn't be feeling water on your face. It should just feel cold, okay? So make sure that you are squeezing the life out of that sponge. Take a towel or a paper towel or something to squeeze it so that there isn't any more water coming out because that'll mess up your makeup, okay? And I did a video on my channel where I used a soaking wet beauty sponge versus a damp beauty sponge. So make sure you take a look at that. This looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit better. We still need to deepen it more, okay? Huda Beauty launched their new loose setting powders where they took out the fragrance, which is so crazy because I enjoyed the fragrance. This is peach pie. I did not think that the peach would fit me, but it's so light that it, it works. Sigma E35 brush to get right under here. I like the fragrance and I have it in a bottle form. Yo, it smells so good. I cannot. It smells so freaking good. Keep your eyes like this. Get some of the product, tap off the excess in the cap right under here where my fine lines are, okay? With the Sephora 79 brush, product that's inside the cap. Let's set all of the highlighted areas. This I don't see giving me any kind of color. I just want to use it because I've never used a peach powder. Oh, everything is so different with the face look that I forgot to contour my nose. Why didn't you tell me? You know we gotta contour the nose, what a world. Oh my goodness. I knew something was just strange. Hold on. Dang it, I was supposed to take some of the cream to contour my nose. Let's do that. Okay, a little bit behind the hand. And we gotta be very careful because again, this is gonna look very dark, a lot darker than usual. A little bit behind the hand, diffuse it. Oh, but now I'm putting this onto a dry area, which means it can look a lot more harsh, but I just took a little 
little bit and I diffused it, so we're good. Okay, good. The product will grip easier onto a dry area, is what I mean. So ideally, we're doing the nose before we powder, hello? <laughs> I tell you, I switch things up and I start getting confused. What in the world? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Taking some of my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner into this bowl I have right here. I keep it here and then I just clean my brushes as I go. It makes life so much easier, y'all. Going on my trifling days where I used to use dirty brushes for God knows how long. I mean, we gotta do better, okay? We gotta grow up and do better. So I'm just cleaning them as I go. Okay, so there's that and then leftover product. Here we have that. Okay, oh yeah, we need to, <laughs> look, I'm so discombobulated. We need to do the glow loose powder, right? Under my eye, I like for it to glow. So we're gonna use the same brush, the same 79 brush and then Elf Cosmetics loose halo glow powder in the cap is where I put some of the product diffusing, mixing essentially, tap, tap, tap. And then right under the eye. This is going to set it and give it some luminosity. I don't use a matte setting powder under my whole entire eye because I do want this area to be luminous. I gotta tell you, my face is looking and feeling very matte. Not Fenty Pro Filter matte, because that's a different kind of matte, okay? But this is feeling matte, wow. I actually really look forward to trying a darker shade because I feel like it's gonna be so, so pretty. Here's a milk powder brush. It's so fluffy and cute. And you know we gotta contour some more. Now I'm I'm not trying to set, take away any shine. I'm really trying to add more color. Here's the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation in the shade Rich 660N. Again, it's a very deep shade because I'm used to using a deeper foundation starting off near the hairline so that if it's really dark, it's over here, not really dark over here. You feel me? So with the leftover, we're coming in. So sticking toward the hairline because the first place you place your product, say that three times, is where you're gonna get the most amount of pigment. So don't put that toward the middle of the face. Not gonna happen, okay? And then I'm going into to my highlighted area a bit because I don't want any harsh line. I want it to blend a little bit, you feel me? And I'm so used to doing my contour at this step that I forgot that I changed my mind and I want to do powder and then contour, but it's all good. The reason why I say that is because there are times where I feel like I need to go back and fix my contour. So what I'll do is take the leftover product on this contour brush to do that. And now I'm lightly going on my jaw. Mind you, I didn't put much product down here anyway, so it's not a huge concern to me for the jawline to be perfectly contoured. The face powder that I'm gonna use, which is the powder that I use to finish everything off to bring it all together, is gonna be this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, and this shade is 85 Espresso. And this is the powder brush from Lawless. So let's just place this everywhere except for the contour. Could I skip this step? Yeah, but do I ever? No. <laughs> what? I need this to come together. It makes a subtle but important difference. The face is looking decent. Comment and let me know. What do you think? I have not done an orange blush in so long. I have to get rid of this. It's not dark enough. Should I use it? My face is so light. Maybe it'll show today. It's, my face is so light. It don't be showing much when I have on a darker foundation. This is the Juvia's Place blush. I enjoy it. I just wish it was darker. It just looks very taupe. It's just subtle. But again, like I said, because the foundation is so light, it might show up more today. Back of the hand, of course, because you want to have control. Diffusing it here, and it's from this area that I'm taking the product onto the face. You see, it's, it's still light. It's okay. It's there. We're pouncing quickly because I can't remember how fast or slow this dries. Okay, it's there. This may or may not have been a good idea because my foundation is bronze, orange. This might maybe look more orange. <laughs> I think it's cute. Come here, let me know. It's showing up on this foundation for sure. Okay. <laughs> We're doing something. We're not gonna throw the whole face away, okay? Sponge, I wasn't say tap, but it's a sponge. So we'll pounce, press off the excess to now blend. And we're, by blending, we're just pressing it in. We're not trying to add any more product. I came too close up with the blush. But I see the trend though, where people are putting the blush literally under their eyes. So do you do that? That is not normally what I do. I was too overzealous with this blush. I'm having way too much fun <laughs> with this face today. So leftover product, and I'm just trying to reinforce this highlighted area. Okay, it's not tragic. It's not tragic. We can go with it. Well, we have no choice. <laughs> this is my first time getting anything from Brown Girl Jane and I got the Carnival fragrance in the mail and let me just tell you, this stuff smells so good. I mean, it smells like a carnival. The mango in here, wow. This 
is a Caribbean vacation on steroids. Again, everything's linked down below. This smells so good. Wish I had it in a candle, so, so good. Let's use this Maybelline Express Brow Pencil and get these brows together, honey. This shade already looks so much more pronounced on this foundation because, like I said, the foundation is real light. When I use a dark foundation, all the colors, because this is, this is a color situation, you feel me, it's a painting. All the colors show up differently. They either gonna look a lot more pronounced or more faint. And because the base, which is the foundation, is lighter, this pencil looks a lot darker. Not in a bad way, but in a way where I can notice that, oh yeah, I can see my brows a lot more today than usual. And that's important to know. And that's why if you're able, right, obviously no force, if you're able, keep some of the things around that you might feel today look crazy on you, whether it's a foundation shade or a brow pencil shade, because as you're learning to do your makeup better and getting a handle on things, hopefully, if you're watching my channel, and if you're not already, follow me on all socials, hopefully you're learning how to make what you have work because not everyone can buy different shades of things. And maybe you might have gotten something that was a hand-me-down. Maybe you got something from me that wasn't your shade and that's all you have. Cause I'll do beauty boxes, which are free giveaways. How do you win? You just engage like normal. Engaging is what? Liking, commenting, make sure you're subscribed on all socials, right? And I just pick people randomly. So let's say you get a box from me and it has foundation shades in there that don't match you. Maybe you can make it work, maybe. And if you ever wanted to play around with it, feel free and hopefully a video like this will help you. Cause sometimes you gotta just make stuff work like I'm doing today. I ain't got time to start from the beginning. So we are doing what? Making this foundation look work today, baby. This brow pencil is so creamy. I really do enjoy it. Okay. Turning this around, or brushing this up. I like it a little bushy in the front like that. And then we are not gonna use Detest Not to highlight. That'll be, I don't know. I think it'll be too light. I don't wanna try it. Let's take the Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer. This is a shade 54. It is very light. It's olive too, which is unique because I don't I don't be using olive undertone stuff. But when I got some different shades, this is what I got. You feel me? This is gonna highlight me. It's giving a nice yellow, but not too beige, not too light like the deep chestnut is on my skin tone. It would definitely be a lot lighter than this. And here we go. I'm pressing down because I have the micro bladed brow there and then gently wiping it down. Yeah, this is going to highlight me in a good way. It's a nice match to the orange face that I have going on. <laughs> Let me stop laughing before I mess up my brows, oh my God. Brows have dried a little bit to give me some more coverage and now we are gonna press really the harsh lines. I'm not concerned about pressing into the concealer itself cause it can stay right where it is. My concern is just the outer part of it, okay? Part of me feels like not doing anything to my eyes today. But then part of me is like, are you crazy? <laughs> I like the yellow and the orange. I like this mix. You know, certain colors just go together. You feel me? The yellow and the orange because the yellow undertone of my concealer and then the orange blush. I like this. Okay, leftover product from the contour just to blend that into the edges right here. Actually, leftover of the cream contour product. Let's go here so that the area between the brow and the contour blends easily. This hand is so dry because I was cleaning it off with the brush cleaner, so. Hence all the white. Yeah, it's ashy. It's that alcohol, honey. Killing them germs. Okay, this looks so gorge. Part of me wants to leave my brow shiny to offset the face. That's an option, okay? It's always up to you. That's an option. That just feels too unusual. So let's take some of the Huda powder, the peach pie, and then this Hourglass 14 brush, and let's tap some powder here. Not even a lot of, ooh. I could've used more concealer on my brow. <laughs> Hi. It's just one of them days. When I wanna be all alone, it's just one of them days, yes. That I gotta be all alone, it's just one of them days. Don't take it personal. I just wanna be all alone. If you think I'll treat you wrong. Yo, I'm annoyed at this whole look. I can still see my brow. <laughs> Don't do that to me. We can't afford to do this here in front of mixed company. The hell? This is the Milk Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Lit. Oh my gosh, we gotta just move on. I'm moving on. What song is that? I just made that up. There's an old school song that goes like that. Moving on. Moving on. Is it Maya? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, okay, here with the finger, we are blotting and putting this on. This is kind of my best work, but not really, okay? I love the yellow and the orange, yes, but I'm not liking that I can still see my brow. And I've already powdered my brow. So what do you mean adding more cream product? Me 
cleaning the concealer onto a powdered area. I'm not willing to dive into that today. I'm just not. I'm not willing to take that risk. <laughs> so we're gonna just leave it. I've had better days, okay? Let's do Huda Beauty eyeliner. And I love how creamy these eyeliners are. And although this is a no lash look, you might enjoy it if you don't know how to do your lashes quite yet and you're not paying hundreds of dollars to go ahead and get those individuals. But you know, they have them lash clusters. They're not my favorite, so I'm not gonna be a lash cluster girl, at least not right now. If things change, I'll let you know. We do have to highlight the inner eye. That is so important. So Milk Color Chalk, this is the shade Hopscotch. That just makes such a subtle difference, you know? Right up in here. I just wiped off the excess because now I want to blend any potential harsh lines. That's what I was just doing when you heard. Okay. Oh my gosh, what look are we gonna do? Let's use this About Face lip liner. This shade is smoked. It's a matte lip liner. Listen, About Face is doing things. Oh, this is a nice color. Not too dark. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love this color. Again, it would look different if my foundation was a lot darker, but this looks so good. It is so good because it's not too dark and it's not too light. It's a mix of cork and chestnut in the best way. I recall chestnut being darker than this from MAC. Oh, I like this a lot. Let's do a gloss. We're so unconventional today. No mascara, girl. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> That's a huge deal, okay? Here's the Huda Faux Filter Lip Gloss in the shade Honey. Ooh. This is the one that be feeling kind of like a balm. It's giving lighter coverage than the Makeup by Mario glosses, meaning I can still see my lip. But there's something about this look that I like. It's very soft. I like it. I like that there's no big, bold lash. I like that my cheeks are orange and it matches the foundation. I like that I can still see a bit of my lip, that it's not a full entire coverage lip. There's something soft about this. I like it. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below and let me know. All links to what I've used are below as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.